Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a budget within QuickBooks Online. This won't be the simple budget. This will be a budget where we subdivide. So I want to show you what that feature looks like and how it works. To do this, let's go ahead and go to the gear in the upper right hand corner. When that opens, you'll go to tools and then you'll go to budgeting toward the bottom of that list. I'm going to select the create new button in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to say I'd like a profit and loss. My budget format is going to be a subdivided budget. If you haven't already watched my video on the consolidated budget, you might prefer to watch that one first. I can choose to subdivide by location, class, or customers. I'm going to subdivide by class. And then I can add a subdivided budget for and pick a particular type of class. So let's go ahead and say commercial example one. I'm going to select next in the lower right hand corner. The first thing I want to do is just rename my budget. To rename the budget, I'm going to click on the pencil in the upper left hand corner. I renamed my budget, Budget for YouTube 202309 Commercial. This will just help me when I'm going to look for it later. So what I can see is that I typically, um, my commercial revenue shows up under consulting income. I can see that year to date, I've had 2025. Um, let me just see if I can use the calculator. I can. I, it doesn't look like it, but oftentimes within QuickBooks, you can just type in the cell what you want. So 2025, in this case, divided by eight, because I'm recording this at the beginning of September. Okay, let me just double check. 2025 divided by eight, 253. I don't know what is happening with this 2109. Okay, let's type it over here, 253. And now I will do click the blue button to carry it across. And now QuickBooks is saying, if you do that for the whole year, this is what you're expecting to get. So for September, let's say that we were at 253, let's go 275. And then October, 350, November, 400, and December, 500. It doesn't matter what you pick. You can just pick whatever it is that you'd like. Let me go ahead and scroll down. Um, so I've got some wire fees. Um, so let's say that we're expecting to have um, the $30 wire fee. It's it's typically that's just what it costs to wire. And so I just said, OK, well, I'm I'm assuming that I'll have wire fees throughout the rest of the year and I'm not putting any wire fees in the earlier part of my year. I know that year to date I've had $30 in wire fees. I don't know where I don't know when um, and I don't care to go look it up. So I'm like, okay, well, let me put in 30 so that I can compare my year to date totals, but I don't, I don't need to know for sure when that happened. So we'll kind of scoot down. I'm just looking for situations where there were expenses or where I think that expenses might exist. Um, this might be the only things that I have for this class. Um, so let's, let's say that there are, uh, office supplies that I can allocate to this situation. I'm going to do 120 so that it does $10 per month. Um, okay, so we'll keep it simple. I'll say save and close. So the budget commercial, I can just run my budget versus actuals report from here. I don't need to go to the report center. So I'm going to click on run budget versus actuals. And then I can see what's going on. So I can see that, um, uh, let's see here. So I did this for my commercial class, but it seems like it's showing me all the other classes. Um, so there's commercial, there's location A, there's residential, there's not specified. So I, I did say I wanted the budget to be subdivided by class. And there was one class that I was keeping track of. What I'm looking at here has extra information, which could be helpful or it could be clutter. Um, for me, I, it's clutter. I If I said I want to see my income and expense projections for a particular class, that's really all I want to see. The extra information just becomes too much. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select customize in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to go over here on the right. I'm going to click the box that says only accounts with budgeted amounts. And then I'll select run report. So now it's just showing me accounts with budgeted amounts. So that seems useful. I'm going to click customization and save. Oh, okay. You can't do it because it's got uh, budget versus actuals and then it has the colon. So we'll take that out and save. So now I've got it available for later. I want to check something. So let's do it together. If we go to budgeting and we go to commercial and I edit. Um, so we budgeted amounts for wire fees because we know there's wire fees in here. Let's imagine we take out the budget for wire fees. And let's go ahead and save and close. So run the report. Nah, let's go back to reports, go to custom, uh, grab the report that we wanted. So it still includes wire fees. Um, it, it just, even though we didn't budget for it. And that's what I was concerned about. If, if I said only show me the stuff I budgeted for, what would happen if I spent money outside of the budget? So it's still doing exactly what I want. This may or may not be what you want, but the magic of QuickBooks is that you can often play around and get to something that you're looking for. If you're struggling to create something in QuickBooks, please drop me a line to let me know what it is and I can make a generic video or we can hop on a one-on-one -on -one call. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.